Have you ever been sitting in your room minding your own business when suddenly smell of delicious food hits you? I mean, how did the smell of food hit you? You are sitting far, far away from the kitchen. Or have you ever blown up a balloon and noticed how it just keeps expanding as you add more air? Well, that's because of properties of gases or gaseous state of matter. In this video, we are going to explore the gaseous state of matter, what it is, how it behaves and why gases are so different from solids and liquids. Let's begin. Alright, let's do a simple experiment to understand the properties of gases. I've got three incense sticks here, so we can generate enough visible smoke. Let me light it up. Yep, here we go. Okay, you can see the smoke coming out. It's white, grayish color. Now, I'm just going to let it be for a moment. See how the smoke spreads through the room. See, it's moving into whatever space it's available. Alright, now let's take this small glass and place it on top of the incense stick. Look at that. The smoke is now trapped inside. It fills the entire space in the glass. It's not settling at the bottom. It's not staying in one place. It just spreads out evenly. Okay, now let's try a bigger container. Let's see what happens. Yep, the bigger glass. The smoke is filling the space inside this container too. It's not escaping. It's completely taking up whatever room is available. Do you see that? Now for the third case, I'm going to put the incense inside a much larger jar. Watch this, the smoke is spreading out, filling up the jar. Some of it is trying to escape from below, I can see that, but most of it is staying inside, taking up as much space as possible. What is happening here? The gas is taking the shape of the container. The first one, a small glass. Second one, a cylindrical glass. Third one, a bigger jar. What's the key takeaway from here? It's very evident here. We are watching it with our eyes that gas have no definite shape. They just expand to fill whatever space they get. Alright, so how do we show that gas doesn't have a fixed volume? From the previous three cases, the small glass, the medium glass and the big jar, we've already seen that gas doesn't have a fixed shape. It's It takes the shape of whatever container it is in. But what about volume? Okay, look at this small glass. It's completely filled with smoke. Now we know this glass is smaller than the big one, right? That means the small glass have a smaller volume than big one or different volume than big one, correct? Now I'm going to open this small glass and let the gas fill inside the bigger one. Yeah, there it is. The smoke is now filling the entire big glass. That means the gas didn't just keep its original volume, it expanded to fill the new space. So the volume of gas is now the volume of bigger glass. It doesn't have a fixed volume at all. That was an interesting observation, right? Now, remember in one of our last videos when we talked about different states of matter, we saw that solids are tightly packed, liquid particles are loosely packed and gas particles are super, super loosely packed. They're free to go everywhere. Now, let's take a look at the incense stick experiment from a microscopic point of view, meaning I'm going to look at the particles, right? So, I have a simulation here. Uh, what you see here is a cycle pump look-alike. What does it pump? It's going to pump particles. Just like the incense stick giving out smoke, this is going to give gas particles, right? And uh, here I have a container with adjustable arm. This arm can increase or decrease the volume of the container. And top I have a lid which will open to the atmosphere. Alright, uh, let's pump in some particles and see what happens. Watch closely. Alright, just like the incense stick, the gas particle is being pumped into the container and what is happening? It is completely filling up the space inside the container. The gas takes the shape of the container. It doesn't have a fixed shape like solids. Now, let me make the container bigger. What do you expect? The gas spread out and takes the new shape. That tells us something very, very important. It doesn't have a fixed shape or fixed volume. Just like we saw when we used different sized glasses the incense in the incense stick experiment. If I further reduce, the gas is going to take the shape and volume of that smaller container. All right. Now let's see what happens if I open the lid. Obviously, the gas is going to escape to occupy any space that is available to them. Right? The gas escape immediately because gas particles always, always move freely and fill up whatever space is available to them. How cool is that? Did you know that the LPG, that is liquefied petroleum gas, is in the gas? It's in liquid form. 
the same goes for oxygen cylinders that are used in the hospital it is stored as a liquid surprising right but the moment you open the valve it quickly returns into gas because of the atmospheric pressure that's why you hear a sudden hiss when you turn on the gas stove or open an oxygen cylinder pretty cool right yes this also tells us something very important that gases doesn't have a fixed shape or volume they'll expand to fill any space they are in